Hey everybody, this is Bjorn from No AP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to block script injections that a hacker would use via the requests or the globals PHP functions. Now we're going to do this via the htaccess file, which is a very powerful file. And basically what happens is a hacker can request or script inject into the globals and the request functions of the PHP and access your site's back end and basically do whatever they want. Now they can also do this via the get and post PHP functions, but developers usually protect those whenever they develop and is protected in WordPress as well. But you want to make sure that the requests and the globals are also protected, which we're going to do right now, and I will show you how to do this step by step. So the first thing we have to do is go into our hosting account. In this case I'm using HostGator. Yours may look a little different, but it'll have all the same stuff. And you want to find the file manager. Click on that and then open the document root for your website. In my case, it's this demo site. And then we click on go. And then we see all our files on the site. And we want to add this to the HT access file. If you don't have this file on your site currently, you can make one. All you have to do is click on new file in the top left. Type in dot HT access and you can make a new file and then put this code that I'm about to show you into that file. You can also do this via FTP. This file will be visible through your FTP program and if it's not, if it's not there, you can right click and click on add new file and then create the HT access file where this code will go. So to edit it, all we have to do is highlight it, click on the edit button and then here we see uh, this is for WordPress permalinks, this first part. So if we click just below that, hit return a few times, and then we will paste a special code in that will protect against script injections. And this code can be found right below this video, so you can just copy and paste it from this video. And basically what it does is if a URL or if a hacker tries to use a URL that includes a script and it tries to access globals or requests, then it's blocked. They get a 403 error message and that's all the script does. And so just by adding this in there, you're protecting your site, you're taking your WordPress security to another level. So I recommend you do this right now. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel, like and share this video, check out our social feeds, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write WordPress tutorials every single day. Talk to you soon.